But what's with all the dirty hippies? They're tree planters, Justin. Even worse, stay up when patchouli will give you back me. Is breakfast wine the best way to deal with your mom? You'd be so easy to like if you didn't try so hard. I just need the bottle. It's accidental manslaughter if she trips on it. Well, hello, Julie and Jordan. You're back for a second season of The Lake, and I'm so happy because this series has a Canadian soil. It was all over my clothing, I can confirm. We do have a yes. lot of Canadian soil. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure, yes, especially since you, uh, you know, burned the uh, boathouse down and got a little sooty. I mean, we don't, we, and we don't know who burned the boathouse down. You know what I mean? Julia, I just want to say that, you know, bringing Lauren Hawley in as your mother and the way she's brought in is just a terrific idea. Mimsy is, um, she says she's dying and she's staying uh, at the cottage with everybody. And then she says that she's handing the cottage over to you at the end of the summer, which means that there's going to be a lot of, um, manipulation and testing and, and uh, awkwardness between the two of you. I mean, she'll go for broke, you can just tell. Um, I was so thrilled when, uh, when Lauren was cast and it was really fun to have this tete-a-tete -tete with her. She's, um, it says, the, we, we had built up Mimsy as a character so much um, that I just loved how like, Un un unsettled Maisie is with, with her mother's presence. And it becomes the next like battle that she has to fight is to either prove that her mother's lying. Um, but then also <laughs> at the same time, she's got to like endure her mother's company because she wants to get this cottage and, you know, Mims it's just great. I think it was like, you could psychoanalyze it for days. I know it, it is. And it's mm -hmm. just so rich for comedy. Just tremendously so. Now, Julia, you've played fairly nice people for most of your career. This was a departure. It, yeah, this was a departure. It, it's a departure. Do you feel like you've gone rogue somehow? Happily, yeah. I mean, working on a, a comedy like this is so fun. Just day to day, going to work and the energy that you put into just laughing at everything um, is great. But then also this character, yeah, it's a departure. She's not, she's she's like, every adjective that I can think of to describe Maisie May is not a good quality in a human being. Like she's selfish, she's competitive, she is, um, you know, hell bent on things like winning this cottage or even in one episode proving to people that she's fun because everybody says that she's not fun. So then she's like determined very aggressively. She gets drunk and acts like a frat boy. Enjoyable but for you me. You can kind of tell she gets, she gets these traits honestly from her well, mother. Well, when you see her mother, played by Lauren Hawley, you see where it comes from. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's really fun. And it's just, it's just, I know it's going to be explosive. I have huge news. I'm quitting my internship to be a tree planter for the summer. I think so. you should make friends with your boss. I've stayed in so many jobs because I'm super fun to be around. Did you sleep with the boss? No. Yes. One time, kink shamer. <laughs> Toast. May your life be as happy as the one leaving me. She's not sick. She's had cancer before. Facial dysphagia, phantom rosacea. I don't know she got spider Botox through customs. She couldn't talk for six weeks. It was heaven. And Jordan, your part's expanded so much in this, the second season. Uh, you're public enemy number one, rightly yeah. or wrongly. But there's other problems as well. You, you have the delayed wedding. Is Mimsy a problem for you or does she kind of leave you alone? I think Mimsy is a problem. I think um, her focus right now is almost exclusively directed to Maisie. Um, right. Which was delicious to watch as an actor and as a bystander, watching the with Julia and Lauren uh, go at it all the time. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, it was a deluge of um, conflict and comedy. But uh, Justin, we find him this season after he's you know, run out on his wedding. He's blown up his relationship. The boathouse is burned and everybody thinks he did it. God. I think what was really fun for me, which I, you know, I did get to do a little bit of last season, but I really got to go there this season, which was just spin a million plates at once. As a comedic actor, as a comedic performer is really fun because comedy always seems to sprout from desperation and um, obsession. <laughs> mania which uh, are all words to describe just in this season and um he's desperate to clear his name and repair his relationship with riley and that was just it was great to feel like no matter what i always sort of had this 
anchor of uh, an engine driving me to the next step, driving me to find the next clue to unravel who burned down the boathouse, how to fix my relationship with Riley, how to make sure Billy doesn't blow up her life. Maybe at the end of it all, find some way, get in Mimsy's good graces. When Justin came into the show, I thought, oh, he's a bit of a smarty pants. <laughs> he's one of the nicest people now he's he's so warm and you know kudos his relationship with billy is really turning out well so you know he's he's sort of a hero whereas julia you're wonderful at being a i think what's interesting about this season because mimsy comes into the picture um uh justin and Maisie may last season had been kind of at odds, uh, very at odds with each other. Very much, yeah. They become more, now, now Maisie May is like leaning on Justin a little bit more as a, as an ally and a friend because her mother is um, getting under her skin so much. Well, so, I was yeah. going to say that it actually, I found watching Maisie in constant conflict with Mimsy really humanized Maisie in a way that we didn't, we didn't really get the first season where Maisie was yes. exclusively How the very- true. Uh, we're sort of watching, it's that, um, it's the succession syndrome, right? Where we see the kids as victims of Logan Roy. Here's the question, are you shooting now or or plan to shoot soon? I, we're not shooting presently. Um, and I think we're still sort of balls up in the air as they typically are, uh, you know, the second season has to premiere and um, we go through the, yeah. the paces, but I know. Right. I know Prime Video is very excited to share the second season, and um, and we just hope everybody everybody watches and watches soon, June 9th, when the new season drops. If everybody can watch on Prime Video, that would be great. Terrific! Thanks you to the two Js. There's an arsonist among us. Who would set fire to the boathouse? Believe the victim, Maisie. And not how that's used. It's all about. Me. I was never going to be good enough for the Justin show. That's not true. It sounds like a hit. It never works out between cottagers and townies. You come for a season and you leave for no reason. It's called fall. Something happened, Justin. Why don't you just date both? I'm not like you. I think after today, you're exactly like me like that. I don't need you now because baby, you give me the rush. Give you love. I'm not going to leave the lake until I give Riley the happy ending he deserves. The other one. Oh, dealer's choice.